Being off grid, at least for me, means that sometimes I have to fire up a fossil fueled generator. Ouch. <laughs> I wish everything was with solar only, but in the uh, northeast of the United States, we sometimes have very long stretches of cloudy and snowy conditions where the solar production just simply isn't enough, especially because my home is uh, electric heated. I do use heat pumps, but they are electric powered heat pumps. My home is a small energy efficient home that I built. Uh, and I actually have a lot of videos on building my home if you want to go check out some of the older videos on this channel. But back to the generator. I don't want to waste fossil fuels. I want to run this thing as efficiently as possible to recharge the battery bank. In a previous video, I showed that I recently got a charge verter, a 100 amp 48 volt charger from Signature Solar. Now that charger allows me to set the maximum charging amperage going into the battery. But what is the correct setting for this generator and my battery bank? Well, let's begin. As you can see, I've turned off everything else. So the only thing that we'll be monitoring is the amperage going in and the amp hours and the kilowatt hours from the charger into this battery bank. All of the power from the generator will go through this charger. The charger is about 90% efficient. We'll be monitoring everything going through this Victron Smart Shunt and using this app. Right now we're at 40%, and so I'm gonna be resetting it to 40% every time. So after every test, I'll put on a load and I'll remove the kilowatt hours that we added. Right there you can see four quarts is exactly one gallon, and we're a little bit under four liters. All right, now let's turn it on. There we go. And we'll go to VA. All right, this is our first gallon of gasoline, our first test. And we've got the charger set to 70 amps. We've got this zeroed out and we're charging right now. The Victron Smart Shunt is showing 68.7 amps instead of 70, but we've got 70 on this. And let's take a look at how efficient that is. 3,900 versus 3,650. And just for fun, we started a timer to see how long it takes. So we just finished our first test and let's check it out. And one hour and 32 minutes. And let's see what this says. This says 6.7 kilowatt hours, but let's check the Victron Smart Shunt. 5.8 kilowatt hours. So 5.8 kilowatt hours is much more accurate. And we went up to 59% from 40%. So remember this is uh, less accurate because it's actually reading a little bit higher amperage than what the Victron Smart Shunt is. And the wires are longer. So we have the wires leading to my bus bars and then from here, I've got the 4 aught wire going back to the, uh, the shunt, the 4 aught and the 4 aught here. So it's uh, much more accurate to have the shunt right by the battery bank. Uh, so we'll take into account the losses of this wire. The 4 aught will be almost nothing, but uh, this wire will have a little bit higher. So awesome. An hour and 32 minutes. 59. And over here, 5.8 kilowatt hours. And that was with the setting of 70 amps. So at this point, I'm gonna turn on the Schneider and then turn on the water heater and we'll knock this back down to 40% before we start our next test. That way our voltages will remain the same. And over here, we'll turn on the water heater and now we're discharging for that water heater and we'll knock it back down. Test number one did even better than I expected at 70 amps. Next up is test number two at 80 amps. Now 80 amps is what I think I'll be setting mine at. It's my uh, guess on what I think is gonna be the most efficient, but we're gonna find out together. So let's get going on test number two. One gallon again. Okay, we're gonna turn this off. 
And over here, we'll turn off the inverter. And we're at 41%. I hope among friends, we're all okay with that. It's an extremely flat voltage curve. Remember the last test, we had 5.8 kilowatt hours. We just discharged 5.4. And we're going to reset this. And we're back to zero. I like to turn on my generator with the eco throttle off. And after it uh, gets going a little bit, then I turn this on. We're fuel. <laughs> We're gonna go up to 80 amps. So that is showing 78 amps, 79.8. Let's go check what our efficiency is. Here we go. Go to Eco Throttle On. And we'll catch back in an hour or so. Test number two just finished at 80 amps. Let's check out how we're doing. Well, we got up to 60% and 5.8 kilowatt hours. I think that's the same as last time. Awesome. Well, time to turn on the Schneider inverter and the water heater and get us back down to our starting point, which is 40% state of charge. Good morning, everybody. Yes, it's the next day. It got a little bit late last night. Well, I was really surprised to see that test number two and test number one both had the same kilowatt hours into the battery. Let's find out what happens with test number three. This will be the 90 amp test. All right. Got her going. So 90 amps, all right, we're at zero kilowatt hours, 41% charging up. Let's check out how efficient it is at 90 amps. Well, test number three is complete. Let's find out how many kilowatt hours we have. We're back up to 60% and history 5.8 kilowatt hours, ha, <laughs> that's funny, the same amount, wow. Well, <laughs> I was not expecting that, but my best guess is that the Honda generator is just really good at that eco throttle. And we'll turn on the water heater and get this back down to 40%. I'm really surprised that the first three tests all came out equal at 5.8 kilowatt hours. Now, Let's do the last test at 100 amps. Here we go. Well, we're at 40% to start this test and zero kilowatt hours. The Schneider inverter is currently off 100. All right, 100 amps, and we're charging. Go back to status. This one says 98.17 amps. And what's our efficiency? Now this is a little bit higher than the setting. It says 5.5, and this is at 5.6, so I don't know how long it's gonna last, but we're gonna find out together. The generator just died and this shut off. And let's check, hey, 60%. <laughs> Sounds uh, familiar. And 5.9 kilowatt hours. Wow, I'm actually surprised. We did slightly better that time. 5.9 instead of 5.8. Wow. So near the end of that test, we were up at 5,900 VA but this Honda just kept doing it, kept powering it. So really impressive that it was able to maintain that. I had predicted that the 80% uh, 
rule or the 80% of rated output. Remember, I'm not talking about amps right now. I'm talking about 80% of the rated output would be the most fuel efficient point. Now that's probably true with the uh, standard kind of contractor open frame generators where you're directly outputting the AC. But in this case, being an inverter generator with the eco throttle function, this little computer was able to throttle down the engine to match the load. And it did that surprisingly well. Uh, now I really thought that by the last test, that 100 amp, we were over the rated output of 5.5 kVA. So I really thought at that point we were gonna see a drop in fuel efficiency, but we didn't. Now in my previous video on that charge verter, I had mentioned that I was probably gonna set my charge verter to 80 amps. But after doing this test, I think I'm gonna raise that up to 90 amps because there wasn't a loss in fuel economy. Well, I really hope that this video shed some light on it. I know that I was surprised by the results. How about you? Were you surprised by the results? Uh, let me know if you've also done a fuel economy test in the comments below. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hopefully we can see the markings. This is four quarts right here. Let's see if, does that help?